All right, we are week one, day one out there in YouTube universe, Spartan Nation, if you will. We're going to do our first DLR as a group, okay? So it says, write the sentences correctly. It says, I seen an giant balloon in the sky this morning, Ben said. I hear some things that don't sound right. Did you hear them too? Bless him. What did you hear? I, I, ready? I says, I seen an giant balloon. How could we fix that? What would you actually say? You wouldn't say, I seen. You would say what? That a boy, I saw, right? So let's fix it. I saw. See, look at, look what I'm doing. First thing you do is we do this, you guys. We do read, edit, write. Okay? Read, edit, write. Say it. Read, edit, write. All right, so we're going to read it to hear it. I seen an giant balloon in the sky this morning, Ben said. So I've read it a couple times. All right, so we changed seen to saw. What else we need? I saw an giant balloon. O'Brien. Oh, change and to uh. Yeah, change and to uh. I saw a giant balloon in the sky this morning, Ben said. Right? Uh, Bryn, grab that sheet that's sticking to the board. Do you see? Do, do you guys see anything else? Yeah, right there. See, it's magneted to the board. I saw a giant balloon in the sky this morning, Ben said, right? All right. Well, I don't see anything else either. So it looks like for this one, we have two corrections, right? Two for the first one. Let's take a look. You ready? Now we've done, we've read, we've edited. What's the next step? All right. So we're going to do it. Now we're going to write it with our corrections. Don't forget the quotation marks. I saw a giant balloon in the sky in the sky that's a good song right this morning okay comma ben said what happens when you're rewriting it if you forget to put the quotations. Now, let me show you something right now. These are the quotation marks. Quotation marks tell us when someone's doing what? Talking, Talking right? All right. So then what you're saying over there, uh, Rocco, is that this is our talking part, right? Yeah. All right. So this is our speaking part. Then what's our tagline? What, what part of the sentence tells you who said it? It's Ben said, right? Ben said is going to be your tagline. This is your tagline. The tagline is separated by a comma. Okay? All right? That's just a little bonus. So two corrections in number one. Let's look at number two. Ready? We're going to do what? Read. Everyone read. Edit. Write. Here we go. It were skin. Oh, it were, it were sh shinny and shaped like an egg, he say. Holy shnikes, Jack. Help me, please. What should that be? Let's just give me one. Just give me one. And then, Emily, you give me the next one. Go, Jack. Was. It was. Are they trying to say shiny? Yeah. Can you spell shiny for me? S-H-I-N-Y. There it is. It was shiny. See what I did there? And above it, I'm spelling it correctly. I circled the misspelling. I want you to do these, these these marks with me. So right now, this is the delete mark. This is spelling, right? You circle it if it's spelling, right? And we're going to use the insert to do different punctuation, right? All right. It was shiny and shaped like an egg. It was shiny and shaped like an egg. Brody, what should it be? Shape. So we're going to drop the E and add the suffix ED. Shaped. S-H-A-P-E-D, right? See how I used that little carrot, Brody, to point to where I was going to add it? Okay. It was, it was shiny and shaped like an egg. He say? He say? <laughs> Xander, he, we wouldn't say he say, would we? We would say he, he said. So look, I'm going to delete say and write said okay now listen to it it was shiny and shaped like an egg he said how many times did i read that 
I mean, I read that about eight times, right? So we read, we read, and then we edit. We've got how many edits? Let's let's count them. Looks like we have one, two, three, four, right? We edited four things, and now it's time for you to write it out as neatly as possible, okay? Right? So you would include the quotation marks. It was shiny and shaped like an egg okay comma he said let's see who's paying attention where's the tagline emily he said is the tagline girl you're right where's the speaking part right here It was shiny and shaped like an egg. You betcha. And we know that the quotation marks are here and, and the comma separates the speaking part from the tagline. All right. Let's look at this next one. It says, rewrite the sentence so it is not a run-on sentence. Run-on sentences run on and on and on and on. They need punctuation, right? So that was a blimp. You saw it was part of a parade, I told Ben. That was a blimp you saw. It was part of a parade, I told Ben. There's two sentences there. We need to we need to shrink it. We need to we need to create two sentences. That was a blimp you saw. We could or we should probably put a period there, right? That was a blimp you saw, period, comma, or period, capitalized. It was part of a parade, I told Ben, right? So that the that was a blimp you saw. It was part of a parade. That's one way of doing it. How about if we do add a comma? Let's do a comma. Ready? That was a blimp you saw, comma. Now we need to add a conjunction. What conjunction? And, so, but, nor, then, since, because. What would be a good one to put there? And. That was a comma, comma, and... It was part of a parade, I told Ben. Hey, uh, Jack, where's the tagline in that bad boy? Um, that was a blimp you saw. Oh, yeah. I told Ben. I told Ben is your tagline. All right. Where's the speaking part? Who could tell me? Right there. Yeah. Um, that was a blimp you saw. Um, there you go. That's the speaking part. All right, we know it's a speaking part, Bren, because we've got quotation marks right there. All right, add punctuation to the sentence. The blimp is named Spirit of America. I said, uh-oh, what do we have there? What do we have there? The blimp was named Spir Spirit of America. I said, what is I said? It's a what? Boom, what is it? Tagline. Everyone? Tagline. All right, what separates a tagline from the speaking part? Comma, let's put a comma there. And then what do we need around the speaking part then? Quotation marks. There you got it. All right, there you have it. Day one, week one, DL Ara in the books. Tadero out.